So right, I've been playing rather more with the Bidion BIP 6000. Um, and one of the questions I got asked quite a lot about was how it reads barcodes and how sort of useful that is. But so you see I've got two barcodes printed out on the paper here and we're just going to scan them. I've got like a program up here and you can see that boom, it reads that as 1, 2, 3, 4 which it is. And the top one, well, as it's, it, sometimes it can, the first one didn't print very well so it seems to be a bit temperamental sometimes. And also the top one isn't, a, I think, of a standard barcode format so it, yeah it doesn't like it. But the second one it reads instantly. So, you see there, one, two, three, four. So it reads barcodes absolutely fine. And people have been wanting to know how useful this is as a mainstream device. And that means that I sort of have to cover how well the programs are. And I've already sort of covered my last video about how my sort of office is, um, which I think comes with this. But in terms of other apps, uh, there isn't, because it runs Windows CE, there isn't necessarily a massive amount of them. So I've got a remote desktop application which seems to be incredibly fussy about uh, what it will actually run. Opera Mobile, which came out in 2010 and renders a lot of websites very badly. The Facebook app that I installed seems a bit hit and miss because it sometimes connects, sometimes doesn't. Um, however, I mean some of the apps do seem to work quite well, like Google Maps. Google Maps is going to connect through. I've turned my Wi-Fi. So right now I have a data connection. I can sort of show this in a bit more detail. So you can see there is a bit of lag loading the map, but uh, it's doing pretty well. And obviously the screen isn't multi-touch. What I tried to do then just simply doesn't work. To zoom in, you have to use the zoom buttons there. But you can see it is it is loading it quite responsively. And this program is only a few megabytes, if I recall. Let's see if I can get it to load a. Um, see if I can try and get it to load the satellite layer. So right now it's going to try and load the satellite, and you can see that. God, I keep trying to use both fingers here. You can see that it is actually loading it rather responsively, which is reasonably good. It's just my my tapping it with my fingers rather than using the pen is rather suboptimal for this. But, I mean, I can assure you that it does work pretty well. Uh, Windows Messenger you can forget about because they close that service. Windows Media does actually seem to display most files I hit it with absolutely fine. That's because I tend to encode mine in a fairly usual way. Um, so, we've seen that Google Maps works and it seems to be actually quite good acquiring my location over GSM. In fact, scarily good. Facebook hit and miss. I can access my emails through um, through the Opera and it actually displays them well, that's good. Um, Twitter seems to work okay as well. Um, some of you think, well, else do I do on my phone? Watch videos and stuff, well that works. Oh, and there's the YouTube, none of the apps I've tried for YouTube work. And Opera certainly does not display them very well at all. I mean, so certainly you're going to use this as your main phone. Um, it probably won't work too well if you're a, interested in watching other YouTube content or BBC iPlayer or any of those because um, quite simply the apps aren't available and the web browser doesn't seem to have come a bit before those services were really intended for mobiles unfortunately and of course it does have two games there but <laughs> yeah not brilliant but most of the apps I got are from um, this pocket PC dot net or something website which I'll link in the description um, which seems to have quite a lot of apps but you've got to select like Windows for mobile for pocket PC because it has some for the more modern iterations of Windows mobile which you sort of see on Nokia Lumia sold today 